I hope you guys are having a super dope day today. It's your boy Robert Z1 and today's GTA 5 glitches video I will show you my top 10 glitches tips and tricks after the new update. I hope you enjoy this video. Coming in at number 1. Okay, let's get right into the video. The first thing you need to do is pick the t-shirt color you want with the new logo, then save the outfit. Now hold down select, then kill yourself. You should spawn outside, then go back to your apartment wardrobe. Now hover over the logo you want to transfer to the t-shirt, then go to your friends list, then join a friend playing GTA Online. When you spawn in, you should have the logo on the colored t-shirt. Save the outfit and you're done. Like I said before, gaming online is all about looking unique and different and having rare modified t-shirts would definitely set you apart from the rest. Now for the next glitch. Okay, let's get right into the video. The first thing you need to do is start up single player. Then put in the fast run and super jump cheat codes. I'll have them in the description and in the comment section. Now go to a high building. I'll be using the Rockford Plaza next to the Los Santos Customs in the middle of the city. Now run then jump then quickly press B or circle on PS4. This should ragdoll your character. Hold down start, then let it go 0.5 seconds before you hit the ground. This should pause your character right before you hit the ground. Now go online to a solo session. You should see your character hit the ground, then start to get up. Once you get online, you should be able to run super fast. You can find a new session and you'll still have the fast run. This glitch is cool for trolling friends and just having some fun. Now for the next glitch. Okay, let's get right into the video. The first thing you need to do is go to the yacht, then equip your night vision goggles. Now walk to the jacuzzi, then throw two sticky bombs at the steps of the jacuzzi. Now throw two sticky bombs at the top of the jacuzzi. Now pull out your gun, then walk toward the jacuzzi until you change into your swimming trunks. Then shoot the sticky bombs at the top of the jacuzzi. This should blow you up. When you spawn back in, you should have the night vision goggles without the mask. Now go to any clothing store and save the outfit. Now select the quad lens combat helmet, you want to transfer the mask and night vision goggles too. Then save the outfit. Now pick the mask you want with the quad lens combat helmet and night vision goggles. I'll be picking the abominable snowman mask. Now run to the telescope and quickly hit right on the d-pad three times. You should be standing in front of the telescope. Now hold down select, go to style, then select the outfit you want to transfer the mask to. When you walk away from the telescope, you should have the quad lens combat helmet with the mask. Save the outfit. Now to transfer the night vision goggles to the quad lens combat helmet and mask. Now all you have to do from here is select the outfit with the night vision goggles, then scroll to the outfit with the quad lens combat helmet and abominable snowman mask and select that outfit. This should transfer the night vision goggles. Now to complete this outfit, I'll be going to the clothing store because a viewer said the wardrobe is too complicated to make outfits. Go to tops, sports jackets, and pick the cyan collared puffer. Now go to pants, sports pants, and pick the impotent rage muscle pants. Now go to gloves and pick the gray fingerless gloves. Now go to sneakers and pick the white plain high tops. I call this outfit Ab 6. Now for the next glitch. Okay, let's get right into the video. The first 
Okay, let's get right into the video. The first glitch is the ripped pants and tank top glitch. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to outfits, low rider classic, and pick the heights. Now you can change your high waist pants if you want. I'll be picking these pants. Now go to mask and pick any headscarf. This should remove the top and give you a tank top with ripped pants. Save the outfit and you're done. Now for the next glitch, how to get pink biker suit boots with shorts. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to outfits, biker suits, and pick the pink biker suit and save the outfit. Now pick any bodysuit. Then run to the telescope and quickly hit right on the D-pad three times. You should be standing in front of the telescope. Now hold down select, go to style, then pick the outfit with the pink biker suit. When you walk away from the telescope, you should have the pink biker suit with the bodysuit mask. Now go to your wardrobe and pick any top. I'll be picking the fitted suit blazers. This should remove the biker suit and leave the biker suit boots. Save the outfit and you're done. Now for the next glitch, how to get no bra. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to outfits, business skirts, and pick the 9 to 5. Now pick any open parker. This glitch works with most open jackets. Save the outfit and you're done. Now for the next glitch, how to get black, beige, and green rare CEO body armor with fitted suit blazer. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to fitted suit jackets and pick any blazer. Now hold down select, go to inventory, body armor, and select any body armor. This should give you the CEO body armor. Save the outfit and you're done. Now for the next glitch. Okay, let's get right into the video. The first thing you need to do is pick the bandana mask you want with the different hat, glasses, and scarf. Now remove the glasses. Now pick any biker dome helmet. Now save the outfit, then register as a CEO. Now have auto show bike helmet on. Now go to style and scroll to the outfit with the bandana mask. Now hover over parachute, then get on a motorcycle. Wait for the helmet animation. Then get off the motorcycle. When your character starts to take off his helmet, select the outfit with the bandana mask. Now go to CEO management style. Then get on your motorcycle. When your character starts to bike up, quickly hit one to the left, then one to the right, back to none. Now you can change the glasses and add a scarf. When you join another session, your bandana mask will be removed. All you have to do is the CEO method, one to the left, one to the right on the motorcycle, and your bandana mask should come back. Now for the next glitch. Okay, let's get right into the video. The first thing you need to do is equip the heat vision lens. To do this, hit right on the D-pad to put the lenses up or down. In this case, you'll be putting them down. Now hold out select, go to style, accessories, and scroll to the helmet, then hit X to equip the heat vision. Now all you have to do from here is be a far enough distance away from the other player. Then aim through the sniper rifle, then zoom back a little, then fire. You should hit the other player through the wall. This happens because the game's graphics are too far away to be solid on your screen. So the only solid thing is the player. If you enjoy glitches like this, click on my GTA Outfit Clothing Glitches playlist. Now 
Now for the next glitch. Okay, let's get right into the video. The first thing you need to do is pick the revolver and aim at the side of the back of the plane as you see me do in the video. Now shoot until you see the cargo landing open. Once you see it open, get inside of the plane, then drive forward. This should drop the landing. Now you can drive any vehicle inside. I think this plane is dope. You could do some really sick stunts using this glitch. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at I'm Robert Z1. I upload all the awesome showcase glitches, tips, and tricks. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Clap for my nigga, I'm the